The thing about superheroes is although they have great superpowers, they also have that one fatal weakness. This week, my guest Karen Sullivan explains that business owners are very much superheroes in their own right with incredible superpowers and marketing weaknesses. Curious about your superpower and how strategy can help you overcome your weaknesses? Then you'll need to listen to the show. Okay, here we go. Welcome to More Than A Few Words, a marketing conversation for business owners. MTFW is a production of the Digital Toolbox by Roundpeg, and this is your host, Lorraine Ball. Today, I get to talk to another marketer. Karen Sullivan is a fourth-generation entrepreneur and an award-winning designer with a lifelong passion for persuasive visual and written communication. She founded Sullivan Solutions nearly 25 years ago to help entrepreneurial companies augment their in-house marketing with expert services that help drive sales further and faster. Karen, welcome to the show. Thank you, Lorraine. I'm really excited to have this conversation today. You know, Karen, as I was looking at your website and reading through some of the things that you've done, there definitely is a lot of overlap. And I loved poking around in some of the resources that you put together for executives. Obviously, you and I both want them to outsource their marketing, but even so, they actually have to have tools that tell them if anything is working. Absolutely. A lot of the frustration I hear with business leaders, it, it's two or three parts. You know, first of all, there's kind of this mentality. They, sh- they, they think they should be able to do it themselves because we've taught them that technology is so a- accessible. But the flip side of that is when you really sit down to do some of this stuff, it's hard. It takes time and it takes thought and it takes planning. It takes strategy. And that's the, the difficulty that, that lies sort of down in the weeds of marketing. So we developed the executive strategy kit to have a short list, almost like a grading card or a dashboard for executives so that there is a blessed strategy. It's, it's chunkable. They can look at it in small chunks for each of the channels or different focuses, and, and everybody's going to be a little bit different. But those tools are things that let them take a top level view of the marketing so that they can delegate it appropriately to their team, to their uh, outsourced partners, to whatever the resources are that they use to actually get this done, but they can still feel in control of it. So that, you know, kind of the tagline with that, we we like to say, if if you can document it, then you can delegate it. So that's where that came from. That's such a wonderful approach. The idea that you can document it so that there's consistency and accountability. Absolutely. And accountability is the huge piece of it because leaders don't always know how to hold their teams accountable to some of these things. And that's a piece that we like to bring into our conversations with business owners because that's always the biggest fear. They don't want to lose control of their image and their product. One one of the things we like to say is if, if you've started a business, you're running a business, you're already a marketing superhero. Somehow, some way, you've had to sell your product, you've had to sell your business, you've had, maybe had to sell yourself. Um, but but you you have to be able to sell whether whether you call it that or not. You've had to sell the concept, and you've had to promote it. So you have skills, and and and. But what I find is entrepreneurs fall into different areas, and they have different skills, and that's really where the superhero concept came from. Some folks come out of corporate and they're really good at at structure and they expect to be able to delegate a lot of these roles. Some folks come out, um, you know, a lot of the folks I work with are more grassroots entrepreneurial and they don't have the big business structure to to pull from. And so they're, they're very overwhelmed, but they have passion and they have, they may in fact be more the early adopters of some of the technology, but they have maybe a lack of focus. As you are outlining these different personalities, they bring very different strengths to the table. The person with that corporate background who has that structure maybe is a little more rigid and is a little bit, I find them to be a little bit less capable of 
diving in and getting their hands dirty because they have been delegating for so long. Conversely, that that entrepreneur who's maybe never had the big corporate experience is used to juggling all the balls, but sometimes can't step back and see the big picture. That is so true. And I'm sure you've seen it. There is no one size fits all sort solution to marketing. Uh, you, you really have to understand the team and the vision that you're working with in order to be able to give them the right solution and the right tools to handle it. You know, you have this wonderful tool on your website, and we're absolutely going to link to it from the show notes uh, that allows a business owner to step back and figure out what kind of marketing superhero they are. Because I think understanding maybe what strengths you bring to the table can help you identify your gaps. So why don't we talk a little bit about some of the other superhero identities that this quiz might uncover? Well, there are five. And they're, um, each of the superheroes, of course, has has their individual strengths, their superpowers. But like any good superhero, they also have their weaknesses. So out of the five, one of my favorites is Wonder Worker because that's the that's the one that you know they're they're kind of good at a lot of things, but a lot of times their their weakness might be they just don't have time to do it all. And so things that are are helpful to them to cater to that maybe the ADHD mentality they they try to do try to do too much and and they are good at it. There just aren't enough hours in the day. We suggest that they really start with some very basic things like a marketing calendar, marketing toolkit. And I see in looking through some of your previous recordings, those are some of the things that you're offering in your toolkit online, very valuable, basic things to help sort of offset that weakness of not having enough time to do everything, get it on the calendar first. That process of putting something on the calendar and even an organization as, as mature as ours now, you're 25 years old, we're, we're almost 18. So we've both been through a lot of cycles and we've seen things work and not work. But one of the things that putting it on the calendar forces you to do is address the question, is this the best use of my time? Because particularly for that ADHD business manager, every idea seems like a perfectly great idea. As the next squirrel runs by, they go off and chase it. <laughs> that is so true. And I know everybody's met that person. <laughs> <laughs> and I have been that person sometimes. So have I. <laughs> But I think the idea of having the calendar and planning tools really helps corral some of that enthusiasm. And again, comes back to that accountability piece of, is this marketing really worth the time I'm spending? Exactly. Exactly. One of my favorite personalities out of the uh, superheroes is Slasher. Um, this is a person who is is my skeptic. And I know we've all met those. They are very, very strong in the sales arena. They're very good salespeople. And they may not always think that they need marketing or that they underestimate the value it can bring. So Slasher is really good on the human interaction, but what they don't understand is everything is marketing. Everything is marketing. Every customer communication, every team communication, it is all marketing. And so a couple of the tools we bring to them are really defining a who who we are. This is what we're all about. And, and everybody has seen the mission and the vision and the values, but that's where these things come together in the blessed content, the blessed form that we all come back and use as a touchstone. Because if, if we're not using that in our marketing, if we're not reflecting this personality in the marketing, in our customer communications and our communications with each other, then we're not, we're not upholding the brand and, and we're not being true to, to who the company truly is. And we also offer a brand board in here, which is a very succinct way of putting all the approved logos, the colors. I, I use this myself. I have my Sullivan Solutions brand board right above my computer because it has the all the color codes and all the, it reminds me. So it's, it's a very useful tool. Not only is it a useful tool, but it's an incredible time saver. Way, way back in my corporate days, we had very rigid brand standards. And my young graphic designers really struggled because they were like, well, but, but you're hampering my creativity. <laughs> and my experienced graphic designers loved it because they said, you know what? 
when I don't have to spend any time focused on the basics, I don't have to agonize over which color or which font, I can really concentrate on the design. And when you get a good brand board, you can really focus on what's really important. Are, are you seeing a theme here, Lorraine? <laughs> what's really important? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And Karen, I have to tell you that I could talk with you all day long, but surprisingly, we are just about out of time. I would encourage anyone who is interested in learning more, go to our, our website, take the superhero quiz. It's SullivanSolutions.com slash superhero and find out for yourself. Download the tools. They're a, they're a starting point. And if you need more information, I would be happy to talk to anyone who wants to go in depth on these. Awesome. Thank you so much for being a part of the show. Thank you, Lorraine. If you have enjoyed today's conversation, be sure to check out Karen's resources and then hop over to the Digital Toolbox at Digital Toolbox IN for more marketing tools for busy small business owners. This has been another episode of More Than A Few Words. Thanks for listening.